hello everyone in this video i will show how to use loop in octave in octave there are total three loop constructs that can be used for uh, repeating a particular instruction execution so first of all we are going to see while loop so the syntax for while loop is similar as we are having in c language while then you need to write a condition and then body and in order to terminate while you need to write end while so let's take one example uh, let's uh, assign a value to a variable i and then we are going to print value of i from 1 to 10 let's say so here we will provide a condition that value of i must be less than or equal to 10 and then what we will do we will print this value so you can use here this function or when you write i this will return a value of i so you can write in this manner as well now here we want to terminate this loop so what we need to write and y okay the problem with this one uh, what we have uh, done here because there is a mistake in this uh, loop we forgot to increase the value of i and that's why this loop execution gone in a infinity loop so so if you can see it, it's a infinity loop so let's write that loop again i less than equal to 10 we will print value of i and then we will increase value of i so whenever we write any instruction in octave that instruction immediately return a value or output of that instruction so in order to hide that output you can use a semicolon so in this case we are having two instructions in this uh, body so this instruction will return a value whereas this instruction will not return any value and at the end we will close it so if you can see here uh, it is printing from 1 to 10 so the syntax for while loop while then condition then here comes the body and at the end you need to write and while now let's have a look on another loop which is do until sorry do, uh, this is do until so what is the syntax for do and until first you need to write do second here you need to write the body so let's take this example here we have printed from 1 to 10 now let's say we want to print 10 to 1 so we will print here i and next what we will do we will decrease the value of i by 1 and until so the difference between do until and while loop is that in while loop if condition is true that body will be executed but here in do until body will be executed until the condition become true so uh, so here you have to specify a condition where you want to break this loop execution so we are printing from 10 to 1 so whenever this value of i become 0 at that time at that point of time we want to break this loop so here if you can see this loop will execute whenever this condition is false so in the beginning i value is 10 so when it is start it will print i value it will decrease it now its value is 9 i is not equal to 0 false then again it will execute it so it will keep on executing until this condition become true so let's see the execution so now you might be wondering why this 11 came so if you can see here after printing i which is i equal to 10 we actually increase the value of i so finally the value of i became 11 so so far we have seen two loop first loop while loop while loop then we need to specify condition in braces body and for terminating while loop and while another loop do until do until loop will keep on executing un uh, until that condition become 
true so initially you need to write do then body and at the end until and the condition where we want to break the loop the third one is for loop so uh so this uh, percentage symbol i am using to write a comment so for loop is having a syntax like for variable expression and then next you need to write body and whenever this for loop is finished you need to write and for so here uh, you can write any valid expression you can assign a matrix to a variable so initially let's take a simple example uh, so we want to print same 1 to 10 so what we will do for i equal to 1 so what is the meaning of this uh, expression this is the variable and this is the expression this is a we are using a range so this will be resulting in 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and this variable will take every value 1 by 1 so, and 4 so if you can see it will print 1 to 10 now uh, let's take one matrix uh, let's say 4 i equal to we want to assign a matrix 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 now what will happen in this case if you can see we are not assigning a range we are assigning a complete matrix so what will happen whether this variable will iterate over every value so in case when we assign a matrix this variable will be having first column value initially then it will take second column value then it will take third column value so when we execute this one the output if you can see this loop actually executed three times because the number of uh, columns in this matrix is three so first it has taken first column if you can see one four seven second time it has taken second column third time it has taken third column so when we uh, use a matrix in a condition so when that condition will be treated false and when that condition will be treated as a true so if that matrix is empty that will be a false condition otherwise it will be true uh, there is an exception if that matrix is having all element zero in that case also that matrix will be considered as false so here i am again briefing we have seen three types of loop while do until four in next video uh, i will show you how to use if else switch case in octave thank you very much for watching